Hi everyone, just thought I'd give you an update. Uh, this week we've just completed our greens maintenance, so we cored five of them and deep tined the rest. Um, we then got 20 tonne of sand in across the surface afterwards, which is working its way in nicely with all this rain we're currently having. Um, the reason we put that amount of sand across the surface uh, this time of year is because naturally at this point the greens want to start going softer and we don't want that, we want them as firm as possible. Uh, helps with playability, disease control, uh, footprints, all that kind of stuff just uh, makes a massive difference. So I really pleased the amount we've got across there. Um, last week we cored and dressed the teas and obviously they've been overseeded beforehand. Um, that's really helping with their recovery from the summer stress. Uh, next program with the teas is we want to start to level them. Uh, obviously that's been a big problem here at the Hertfordshire over the previous, well historically really. Um, so yeah, the first ones we're going to be doing is one and 14. Again, these aren't small jobs. One like, looked like a proper first tea, you know, nice and big. Um, we need to redo all the irrigation to it. Um, 14, the same. We need to redo all the irrigation. We do the steps around it, make them bigger, wider. Again, just so improve the pairability all around. And then we'll roll out a program across the other teas that need it. Um, I'll come back with more details on that when I actually have them and have them firmed up. Um, Next week, uh, sorry, this week we also put turf down across the end of 13 drain line and 10 bunker, so fairway bunker, and the turf arrives next week to do 14, around 14 lake. Um, I can only apologise that um, it's taken this long to get those things done, blame loads of me on that one. Um, tried to do too many things last winter and got caught out by just the lack of rain and the lack of conditions to be able to sort it out in so yeah it won't happen again like i say uh, very much thought out this plan this winter so that we're not trying to do too much and we can sort out everything that we start so looking forward to getting on with that um next week we also uh will be deep tying in the approaches and dressing them so again that does all the you know as the green season approach is done we're going to finish off the overseeding of the fairways we've got a few fairways left to do this Fairways already have done, seeds popping through nicely, which is really helping again recover from the summer stresses. Um, then, as soon as that's done, we then move on to uh, deep tining the fairways. Again, this won't happen just once, this has happened through the winter, just to keep the surface nice and uh, open, keeps it breathing, helps with the drainage, again, helps with the firmness on those areas too. So, yeah, looking forward to do that. Again, uh, we wouldn't be able to do this without the investment from the owners. They bought us our own fairway spiker, you know, our own fairway cedar all these things so that we can actually get on with these things so like i say looking forward to be able to get on sorting all these things out um after that we've just signed off for a couple of orbits of kit so we've just signed off for a tractor mounted blower obviously to help with the leaves at the moment um a fairway rake so it's a tractor mounted rake uh, folds out to about six meters wide this will help us basically scarify fairways uh, lightly going into the into the season next year and also help recovery at this end of the season um, with obviously any drought stresses so we'll be able to take it on the areas like around the roughs and stuff like that to actually start pr get them pr uh, pushing back through areas that aren't like you know um, the main play areas so looking forward to receiving that and then obviously we've also ordered a uh, long rough cutter stroke leaf picker so that will come in this time of year obviously it's going to be going out help them pick up the leaves so we haven't just got to keep just blowing them into piles we can actually pick them up take turns it from like a five-man six-man job into a one-person job um, which frees us up to get on with other stuff and then obviously that'll be utilized to keep on top of the long rough keep cutting that and like i said earlier in the year uh, promoting nice wispy long rough that's uh, not thick and you know nice to find your ball in but also really helps to find areas so yeah, again thanks to the owners for invest continued investment and still um getting in new stuff it's been three years but it's been a pretty good three years um yeah so that's about it for the time being Go